Welcome everyone to episode number four. This will be a mini episode where I'm going to, uh, every once in a while, I'm going to dig through the archives of my YouTube channel and choose what I believe are some of the best videos that I have to offer you and I'm going to change them into a more digestible and portable way to uh, take in the content, uh, in this case, podcast form. So every once in a while, I'll dig through some of my old videos and put them in podcast format. In this particular episode, I'm talking about overcoming the fears or apprehensions you might have in making the decision to even come to Japan. So this one deals with a lot of uh, mental blocks or any sort of situations that you might be in at home that might prevent you from making the jump or making the leap to come to Japan. I think it'll be very helpful. So anyways, without further ado, sit back, relax, take it all in, and enjoy episode number four. Today I want to talk about moving to Japan and the fear or apprehension that some people might have with doing that. Now, a lot of you watch my channel, you have an interest in Japan. And some of you might actually want to come and live and work in Japan one day. But I want to ask, what's stopping you from doing it now? What's stopping you? Is it your family? Is it your friends? Is it your job? Money? What is keeping you from doing what you want to do? From getting on that airplane, from buying that ticket, getting on that airplane and coming over here? What's, what's preventing you from doing that? What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? Are you afraid of failing to get a job, failing to get your degree, failing to do a number of things. What are you afraid of doing that is preventing you from coming over here and living and working in Japan? And you know what? It may not even be coming and living and working in Japan. It could be something completely unrelated to that. Moving to a different country, pursuing a new job, or pursuing a new career goal, starting your own business, anything. What, what's, what's stopping you from doing it right now? Because if you really want to achieve your goal, in this particular case of moving to Japan, if you really want to achieve that, you'll do anything that you possibly can to do it. And you know what? I understand the fear. I understand the apprehension because I had it myself. When I first uh, embarked on this journey to come over here, you know, I, I applied for the company that I ended up working for, and the um, the interview was a two-step interview. First was a, a group interview where I had to give demo lessons in front of other people. I had never done anything like this in my life before. I was afraid of speaking in front of people. I hated it. I hated talking in front of people. I would, I would shake. I would get nervous. But because I wanted to move here, to live here, and make my life in Japan, I drove two hours to the interview, and I did it. I gave my demo lesson in front of a lot of people, I sat through the seminar, I was nervous, but I did it. And I got the call back to come back the next day for a one-on-one -on -one interview. And in this interview was even more nerve-wracking because it was just one-on-one. -on -one. And I had to do two impromptu lessons. I had no idea they were coming, and I had to make them up on the spot. 
a lot of teaching is coming up with things on the fly. The whole process of getting your passport, getting a plane ticket, all that, it's pretty mundane stuff. There's not really anything that you need to, to fear about that. You know, maybe you have a social phobia or something, you can't move, go out of your house, you know, wh whatever. Everyone has something, right? You may be thinking, well, I'm not really afraid, but I have, you know, I have commitments, I have family, I have friends, I, you know, what about my life back home? Well, you know, uh, sometimes to get what you want in life, you have to be a little bit selfish. You got to be selfish in order to get what you want. And, you know, I'm not saying, you know, be, you know, completely selfish and just shut everyone off and say, you know, who cares what you think? You know, I'm going to do what I want to do. Maybe to not, not to that extent, but you got to be selfish. You got to look out for yourself. And if you want to do what you want to do, you have to go and get it. I had already uh, had everything prepared to move to Japan in one month, one month before I moved, personal tragedy struck my family. It was one month before I was to come over here and tragedy struck. And it got me thinking, should I just cancel everything, stay here and help support my family? And Luckily, my grandfather reassured me to, to, to keep doing it, pursue what I wanted to do. And I did. I got on that plane a month later, and I came to Japan. And I don't, I don't regret it, because I had a goal in mind for years, what I wanted to do. And it always, you know, you always think of these scenarios, you know, worst case scenarios that just get in the way. They just, it just gets in the way of what you want to do. I care about my friends and family, but I already had this set in, in motion. And I, and, you know, part of me knew that it would be okay back home. Eventually it would be okay. But I still did it. And, you know, personally... That was it to come here was the best decision I've made in my life for various reasons. So what I'm saying is, regardless of what you have going on at home, money, family, friends, job, whatever, do what you need to do, finish up what you need to finish up to get your preparations in order and then go do it. Because you know what? You only get one chance in this life. You only get one chance to do what you really want to do, and you don't need to waste it. You don't need to waste it on worrying about what others are going to think. You don't need to waste it on worrying, you know, about the, about the future. Just do it. Do what you want to do. Pursue your goal, because you might not get that chance later on. You, you might let it slip through your fingers. And you'll feel worse about it if you do. Because you'll be all old and gray. And when you look back, you'll, you'll wonder, why the hell didn't I take that? Why the hell did I not do that? You're robbing yourself of future happiness if you don't do it. So if you want to come here, if you want to come and live and work here, do it. Find the information that you need. Get the help that you need. Watch other videos on YouTube. Not just my channel, other people. There's tons of great information. It's possible. It's doable. Look at your life. Assess what you need to take care of. And then do it. Because any regrets that you have with doing it won't be as bad as the regret you'll have if you don't.